Hey guys, back again. Uh, I got a new speed painting video for you. Um, this one's more of like a practice on uh, figure drawing and gestures. Just wanted to do some uh, brush exploration. I actually created a new brush and I just wanted to test it out. So this is a good way to do it. And you know, this is helping me with my anatomy too. So uh, let's get into it. Alright, this is actually the new brush right here. Uh, custom brush. I'm just starting out with a general black background. Um, you know, just scribbling and different things, trying to get an interesting background. Uh, it doesn't really matter right now, but I like to get like interesting shapes and stuff going on in the back, just so when uh, the viewers see it, you know, it kind of catches their eye. All right, so basically just going in there and applying different uh, different values and. Uh, brush strokes. So right now I'm trying to figure out where the figure lies on the the actual um, the actual board. All right, so I'm blocking in a different shape. Um, I like to start off with some line drawings just so I can get a general outline of where the figure lies. And then I'll go in there and start blocking in different shapes. Um, one thing that's very important is your uh, your values and contrast. See how I'm placing uh, lighter lines next to a darker line it creates like a visual interest for the eye. So you want to play off uh, darks against lights at all times. So um, I'm blocking in. And using slight line to define the form. You can see I'm going in there and adding darker darker uh, hues to the image. For the most part, this is going to be a black and white study. I'm going to go in there and add some color in later, but uh, it's good to do black and white so you can get your values down. And that's most important. Color is secondary to any piece. Don't get me wrong, color does add a lot of flavor, but you want to block out your values first. Alright, and going in, adding in some more line. Just trying to get the general feel. For myself, I use line a lot. You know, it just helps me um, look at the forms, and then I'll block in on top of that. Um, I'm not feeling how big that arm was right there, so you know, free transform tool, made it a bit smaller, and I'm blocking out the shape of it. Right. Adding a couple of small little details for the hair. It's not really that important right there. Just adding in those, continuously going in, adding in values, darks and lights, darks against lights. <coughs> like before, um, I said uh, I like playing with the, the midtones. I like lying out, lying down midtones first, and then adding in um, a darker tone to it, and then gradually putting in the lights. Uh, some people do it a differently. A lot of people do actually do it differently, but this is the the way that I feel uh, helps me out. Um, do whatever feels right to you. If it's working, do what feels right for you. Uh, there's countless ways of doing different things. This is just one example. And right now, I'm actually just color picking from the image. I don't really need to use the the color swatch right now I'm just picking from the image I have basically all the values I need except for the really light lights but that will come in later when uh, doing images like this it's really good to have in your head uh, an understanding of where you want to lead the eye of the viewer um, it comes into play with the edges. Edges are a big part of um, 
paintings at that uh when I first started out I didn't really notice the importance of edges but um just like anything in life if you're staring or focusing on an object whatever your eye is focusing most on will have the most detail everything else around it will be blurred um so keep that in mind um it just helps bring out more realism in in your paintings and it makes it look better um that that one rule right there took me a long time to actually notice and appreciate because it really brings out so much from your image I'm playing with this this thigh I'm not liking how it's looking right now it doesn't really have a sense of form on it so yeah see as I, I go back over it I'm like yeah, eh, let me start over I mean sometimes it's better to do that it only takes about you know, another five minutes or so to redefine that leg and if you want to have like the best image possible and you know something's wrong with it go over and, and do it again uh, you see I'm zoomed out now so I can take a better look at this leg right, so now this form is starting to come through another thing that's very important when doing uh, images is remember your lights your lights on your darks are lighter than the highlights on your light <laughs> which is very hard to uh, understand from what I'm saying is but your highlights on your lighter part of your image are a lot brighter than the highlights on the darks of your image if that makes any sense at all um, basically it's just saying like if you have a really say uh, you have a cube right? and one side of the cube is like a mid value mid tone value and the back side of the cube is a dark value alright so you have a mid tone and a dark if you want to put a highlight on the mid tone the white on there is going to be a lot brighter than a highlight on the dark side. You don't want to use the same highlight for both sides. Yeah, that's probably the best way I can uh, explain it for, to you. Alright, so I'm going back in trying to find this neck area some more. adding small little highlights all over this is where I started adding some highlights um, you know, trying to define the face a bit more um, the face is not going to be one of the main focus points of this image um, I wasn't doing this for a face study at all just to get my values down so face is going to be a little bit uh, you know not finished as I mean it could be or not defined actually as it could be but um, like I said I'm not going for uh, a finished face in this one just enough so the viewer knows what's going on and going back and adding in some hair in there defining the ear adding in this little necklace thing that she had on or uh, earring thing actually yeah, I'm just, just getting the form down of the face And going in, adding some more highlights in. Yeah, it's always good to use those uh, Photoshop tools. I mean, they're there. Some sometimes, uh, you know, I think it's cheating in a sense. But I mean, you're using Photoshop as it is, so that's cheating, <laughs> basically. So I mean, use the tools that are in there they definitely help and I tell you a lot of the professionals use it too so don't think of it as cheating uh, now I'm going in just blocking in some interesting shapes for the background just to make it more lively get some grit on there 
and this is another thing I do with the soft brush on my highlights I pick like a white and use a soft brush and just go in there and just uh, you know, give it a quick uh, dab on the highlights it kinda gives it a glowing effect alright see so this, this hand in the back it's definitely not gonna be uh, another point of interest for the eye so I'm not focusing as much as I mean I need to on there so I'm just gonna leave it going into finding her chest area and again it's good to um, make make brushes and just try them out uh, especially like different texture brushes too because it, it gives it a lot of grit a lot of energy and you know, it's good to experiment all the time. You don't want to be set with one thing. It's always good to keep experimenting. Um, you know, you, you might find a different technique or a different way of doing things that you never thought of before. So, keep doing that. And as you can see now, this hand is going to be more of a point of interest. So, I'm going there with a harder brush and, you know, defining it a bit more. trying to get this this hand just right uh, there we go and I uh, make it a little bit smaller I thought it was too big compared to the other hand so I made it a bit smaller added some darks and now I'm just playing with the background okay and this is uh, another thing just to add a splash of color I take the soft brush take like a brownish or like a soft like yellow and I just go in there on a new layer and put it to overlay and here's the thing with the edges um, I use basically the lasso tool around edges that uh, I think should be uh, pretty sharp due to the light and I just you know, lasso around the area and then go in there with a hard brush and uh, color it in and gives that nice crisp uh, hard edge for the viewer and and there goes with the soft brush now this this is what helps give um, you know helps your eye focus on different areas areas that are blurred out won't be as much focus as areas that are sharp so um after the image is pre basically pretty much done I go in there with a soft brush select some of the edges and just blur it out a bit more and it gives it that kind of focused out of focus look and uh... this video has come to an end um, i hope you guys enjoyed this this is actually uh... one of the many other life drawing videos that i'm gonna have and uh... stay tuned remember uh... check out my blog it's side messiah arts dot tumblr dot com uh... just take a look at it see what you guys think and i will be posting some more videos soon Alright, and have a good one.